them in as fractions here, you're, you're okay. All right, I'm gonna shift this up. All right, write a polynomial function of least degree with integral, this shouldn't say integral, that, that is integer coefficient. All right, here's the thing, two multiplicity of three. That means you have two three times. So when you're starting to write your polynomial, you're doing x minus two three times, okay? So when you're multiplying this out, I'm just going to FOIL real quick, x squared minus 4x uh, plus 4 times x minus 2. That one, I'm going to use a separate sheet of paper to do a box method here. I'm running out of room, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Here I have x minus 2. So I have x cubed minus 4x squared, 4x minus 2x squared plus 8x minus 8. So then let's see, x cubed minus 6x squared plus 8, 9, 10, 11, 12x minus 8. So you should get this as your as your final final answer. Okay. And I see if I don't think I have room to write it here. I, maybe let's see x cubed minus six x squared plus twelve x minus eight. I do have room. There it is. Uh, so it is a polynomial function. So you need to set it equal to p of x. That's something I forgot. All right, this one here. Something that should jump out at you immediately is this root five. The conjugate exists, so not only do you have root 5, you also have minus root 5. So either you have both or you have none. You can't have just one, okay? Same thing goes for your imaginary roots. If you have an i, you either have a plus or minus or you have zero, okay? So this one really has three roots, one, two, three. So when you're writing this out, uh, we're going to probably have to do number 17 on a separate sheet of paper, but that's okay. Uh, we're writing this out x minus. You're doing that three times because you have three roots. So minus negative 3 minus root 5 minus negative root 5. Make sure you're putting it in parentheses, especially if you have negatives. So we have x plus 3. We have x minus root 5. And we have x plus root 5. My recommendation is always multiply these together. Um, and so things will cancel. You should recognize that this is the difference of two squares. So this will be x squared minus 5 because it is root 5 squared, and that just is 5. Now we're going to take this and multiply it by our x plus 3. I'm just going to FOIL it. So I have x cubed minus 5x plus 3x squared minus 15. So x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 15 as my answer for number 16. Okay. Now I did have a question earlier today. Does it matter of the order? I wasn't really picky on the last quiz about the order, but you should know that you need the exponents in decreasing order. So I might be taking away, you know, a point here and there um, if you don't put this in order. So please, you're an IM3. Make sure that you are writing this in decreasing exponential thing, okay? So make sure it's 3, 2, 1, 0, or however it goes. Uh, also, I want to mention by the uh, corollary of the fundamental theorem of algebra, here is your exponent 3. So you must have started with three roots, okay? The exponent and the quantity of roots that you have must equal, okay? All right, so we are on the last one. Find all roots. So immediately I see that I have a 4 as my exponent. So I know that I'm going to be maybe using substitution. So I'm just going to rewrite my question here. So I have x to the 4th minus 5x squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Now, here it is, find all roots. Note that the word possible is not in the question. If you don't have the possible in your question, that means you actually have to find the roots that work. 
So step number one is I'm going to substitute. So let u equal to x squared. So I have u squared minus 5x squared. Oops, 5x minus 36 equals 0. And so then let's see if anything factors. Two numbers that I multiply together that give me negative 36 when I add them. When I add them, they give me negative 5. So let's see, uh, 12 maybe and We might actually have to do this the hard way. We might have to do this the hard way. Okay. Yep, we're, we're doing this the hard way. Okay, so that's not going to work. If you find one, go for it. Okay, we're going to use the rational roots theorem to list all of the factors of 36 and 1. So 1 is done, 36. Uh, 1 plus or minus 1, 2, 3. Oh, just kidding. I'm just literally writing things without thinking. Uh, you guys, let me go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to grab a new sheet of paper. Um, I feel that this is messy, so I'm going to start over on the other, um, on another sheet of paper. Okay, thank you.